So I'm, uh, I'm going to start doing some these uploads just to, as a bit of a debrief for myself in regards to my running and getting it back on track after the uh, marathon in Port Ferry because I had actually, well, for my, what, what my watch is telling me, what my heart rate is telling me when I'm going for runs, I didn't recover as, as quickly as I thought I was recovering. So what I've done is I've taken some days off, kept doing my spin on Mondays and Thursdays, but maybe a run or two here and there, depending on what my garment's telling me. And I get really concerned that my garment's telling me something that is stopping me from progressing in my fitness as well. So I'm basically uh, just debriefing after another run that I've just gone for. So this week, uh, on Sunday, I went for a, a run that was about an hour and a half or something like that. Just kept it nice and easy. Did a couple of strides at the end. Um, so, easy run, a couple of strides at the end. I had, and it was basically my gun was telling me I'm unproductive, I'm going backwards. My VO2 max has gone back. You know, it was at 52 when I went on the marathon. And then over... And at the end of the marathon, they actually told me I was in peak condition to go for a marathon, which was quite interesting. And then I had a few days off from that. Still did my spin on the Monday night after the marathon, which felt okay. And still did my spin on the Thursday. Went for a run, I believe, that week. I'll have to go back and have another look. I might actually go back and have a look at the last three weeks and see what's happened because... Like I said, what my garment's telling me and how I'm feeling. Like I'm not feeling as, I'm not feeling bad when I'm running, but definitely my heart rate is jumping up towards the end of the runs quite quickly, whereas it usually would be pretty steady. My heart rate, resting heart rate also went up to 60 or 61 or 62, which I watched closely. And if it was up, you know, 59 even, um, the day before, I, I wouldn't go for a run the next day. I'd wait till it come back down to 57. It is down at 57 at the moment, and that's why I've sort of decided to go for another run after having a couple of days off this week. Um, I went for a run on Tuesday, spin class Monday, run on Tuesday. Basically, Garmin's telling me that I'm being unproductive still. Um, and then, but it felt good. It felt okay. But like I said, yeah, it went up pretty quickly. My heart rate went up quickly towards the end of the run. It was only about a, oh, it might have been a 50-minute run or something like that and just easy. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll give the rest of the week off up until Friday and just see where I'm at. Now, yesterday, Thursday night, so I had spin, and then Thursday night I actually didn't sleep very well. So that's sort of, from what I'm learning sleep and I've I've known that for a long time is very important but I was very tired last night even though I could have pushed to go for a run decided not to um and then had a good night's sleep last night I didn't even look at what it was but I reckon probably eight or nine hours um, so a bit more than what I usually do then woke up this morning felt good nice day felt like I you know felt keen to go for a run um when I headed out, uh, had a look at what my gun was telling me. It was plus five performance, which was, you know, that's I'm pretty sure when I went for my marathon, when I looked down at my performance at the start of the marathon, Garmin was telling me I was plus five that time too. Didn't keep an eye on anything else, you know, uh, heart rate or anything really during this run today. Just went on feels. So just went on feeling... Uh, how I felt and knew that I had to feel it was easy because I wanted to do an easy run Kept an eye on that performance thing thought if that drops dramatically um, I'll basically when it starts dropping I'll turn around and come back just to try it and Yeah, it dropped when it was down to plus two I sort of just turned around and, and basically come back I went up a, up and down a little bit made sure that I was going up and down a little bit of hills but not big massive hills or anything like that I just varied it a lot more than I didn't want it all flat but it wasn't that hilly either like it was just up and down a little bit I pushed hard at the end just to because it was it went to negative one 
my performance and then I thought no I'm going to try something here and pushed pushed harder at the end um, not overly probably at about seven out of ten going up the hills at the end just to see if it was going to go negative two or back to zero again which I probably didn't push long enough for it to have that effect but it didn't actually move whatsoever which was interesting as well anyway um, like I said I'm just going to probably keep blogging these I might look back over the last three weeks data next time or at some point just to get my head around it as well because um, I'm, I mean I'm aiming for at the moment my next marathon I'm thinking might actually be Melbourne like in October which is a long long way away and because I'm taking a little bit longer to recover by what my Garmin's telling me I'll probably go for a run tomorrow and just base the whole thing on feeling and then see what Garmin says at the end of it um, yeah interesting times just trying to get back to where I was and and now if I'm, my next marathon is like in seven or eight months time I can probably do a, maybe an experimental long run where I push pretty hard just to see whether my Garmin is actually telling me the truth in regards to it. I even just do a half marathon um, and see how that feels um, in regards to where Garmin's telling me I'm way back if I'm being unproductive um, and what I'm actually performing as. In saying that though, um, I look at my figures now and my you know, VO2 max is saying it's gone up and my and it's actually steady. So I'm being, I don't think it said productive. Yeah, it might have said productive. So I'll just see, probably go for a run tomorrow and just base that all on feels, completely on feels, and just see what it says after that too. All right, see you later.